Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Code Prime. In this video, we are going to learn how we can connect the Google font in using the CSS or you can connect this Google font using this link. So we are going to explain that how we can connect that Google font. So here is how to add this Google font. So first of all, we need to go to this Google font website. Then we have to find that build our website for that which website we are going to make it. Then we are need to connect that with this link or HTML CSS. Then we can implement that and then we can watch that how it's working that. So I will do that everything in this live practical here. So let's start this video right now here. Here we can say I've opened my VS Code editor and you can see that I have added a title about this Google font by Code Prime. And there we can say I've added a basic CSS for this body item. Just I use that to a background linear gradient color and I use the display flex and the super content center. This is basic CSS that how you can center a div. So this is the basic simple CSS. So here now we need to you can see here this a live preview also you can see on our browser. So but now I need to make some add some another thing that we, we can explain easily that using that font Google font. So let me add some button here so that it will add some details about that in font property and much more. Okay, now we have added successfully the three button here and you can see this three button i have added some text and for the button i have written some css for this a padding and a margin and we are using their a flex display flex that is a simple center div now we want to make them in column and align them so here is we have using the simple property that is flex direction column and this was simply we have made this a basic part so now we need to go for this google font property now open up your browser and search for the google font and press enter and it will be take you to the fonts.google.com this is the official platform of this google fonts now press enter to visit that platform now here entering here say so you can find this so a lot of font is available here also if you know that some for font family then you can search them and you can find that font easily so here you can see the simple demo fonts so i'm using their simple demo font for here so i'm selecting that one is roboto and another one is open sense and another one also i'm selecting that is letter just selecting this in these three parts i'm just opening them so that we can easily see them that actually the font we are going to adding this so first of all we are going to add this there is a robot font so we are selecting this one and there you can see some data is already select added here this and we have selected that now back to here there's another one that is open sans we are going to select that open sans also one so for this we are going to take some little bit of some low weight property now select this one and go to this the letter property so for this letter we're going to select in that italic style now select it so we have successfully selected that all of this font and you can see here there is our total of this three font properties available to shown here so we can connect them easily the three two way step is available here for we can connect them using link and the import css so i'm going to show you the demo for one by one so first of all we're going to connect them for using that link so let's copy this link from here now just go to your my css file of this code studio now here up inside of this header section now paste this link and now back to the website and here go to scroll down and there you can find this font of this family so first of all i'm going to select in that font lato okay not lato i'm selecting the font robot that which is we have selected the first time now go to our browser okay not browser it is our code studio here so now we need to select them one by one i want to implement this font so first of all we need to copy this button from here and this is our by default so i can simply paste that first one okay and this is for roboto now if we save this file and we're going to type for this viewpoint now you can see it was working for this all of this all of this property that we have added three button but it's only font robot it is working for the three button but we want to make them specifically so now we need to copy this button tag here now just open another one and now we're going to using that studio class so here i'm using that nts child and it is one now open this now we need to back to this google font websites and select that the second one property now copy this font family second one and go to back here now paste it 
and now I have to copy and paste this line and then go to back again now select the third number of font now go to back to Code studio and here we need to just replace this file now paste it and save this file and open with the live server and there you can see there is total three types of font that you can find this so first button we're going to getting this one this one okay so first of all let me make some another one also so this is for okay we have writing this for one so it should be two and save this so now you can see it was working for this roboto is working for this one okay not sunship it was working roboto sunship this working for one and this is for the sunship this working for the second property and this one working for the third number of so this is totally three way we can using using that link directly from our header text but now we're going to use if you want to use that your google font using there without connecting the link so you can use that is css link also now back to the website and now we just need to go to off and select that import file now you can see here this was must be this file need to be inside of this style file whatever you have selected that is style file of the css so now we need to copy that in this center property here now back to the website and we are simply just connect reconnecting that our link that we have provided now just remove it from here and this one also now just go to back and here this style file now paste it here and save this file now back to the browser here also this and there you can see the font is still working so this is the three two way that you can connect your google font property using that header tag link and other one is directly import your state link of your google font in your style file so you can use that two way if you need any inquiry about it if you want to set them if you want to practice to them if you're having any issue you can give me on the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video please like on it and share it with your friends and please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any updated from us